Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Alliance War video. So in this one here, we have War number 2 of the season, and we've matched up against DSVG. So DSVG, uh, Strong Masters Alliance, they have been for a few seasons now. I think they ended up like top 5, definitely in the top 10 uh, last season. They have some very, very good players in that alliance, uh, a couple of which I've known from previous alliances or spoke to through different line chats. So we were expecting... Um, a good war sort of thing. Uh, I know a couple of the um, members had, uh, had said some uh, funny things in the in the line chats that we were involved with um, during the war. Again, that's uh, that's best kept in line chats. But I'm going to go into this. Um, by the time I joined, it was already a little bit later on, and I was only going to use uh, Quake for this kitty. So I just decided to open some of them solo crystal things you can get. Um, and just pop on some of these light boosts. Again, it's only a Kitty Pride. Uh, the bands, they left Quake open. Uh, they left Herc open. And I mainly only use my Hercules in Alliance Quest at the moment. He kind of carries me through Alliance Quest. Um, but yeah, so this Quake here, I am going to speed this fight up. But it's not a tough fight. You just have to remember that once you've stunned her a few times, uh, she will start phasing you're going to see a few parries in here now a lot of people have been moaning about input issues and uh, especially about certain phones having input issues i have that phone um i'm not sure what to think about it yet uh, but it's just one of these things that it kind of happens and we have to just kind of deal with it At the end of the day these, um, these input issues that we're suffering is the reason why we're getting the compensation packages, which right now, um, especially in this season, is still allowing people to even compete in Alliance War, uh, especially with, obviously, as everybody knows, every single person that posts a video on YouTube or any person that speaks to anyone about war at the minute, they just are talking about the loyalty spend all the time and how much of a nightmare it is. So these compensation packages are, is literally what's keeping people doing it. Um, I, I personally think that the rewards are good, but the rewards can be as good as they want. If people can't afford to do it, then it's just not going to happen. But you're going to see here this Quake fight is now coming to an end. Uh, Kitty's just annoying because obviously she can't take any damage while she's phasing. But the fight's done there. It was about two minutes. Um, so we just then move up to Havoc. And I think... Do I even do this one? Sorry, this was a couple of days ago. I've done... Um, I'm, Almost finishing the Karina's challenge, Abyss challenge, and my brain is fried. And it's good fun, just sat at the collector now, waiting to get absolutely pummeled. And just have a fantastic time. Yeah, less said about that, the better. But anyway, back to this. So at this point here, uh, obviously you can see there's only 10 hours left of war. So for me, this is after I've gone to bed, I've woke up the next morning. And I'm like, right, okay. Uh... I, ch I kind of scrimp and the officer told me to change my masteries, but I just ignored them and didn't. I wanted to see how easy uh, I could cope with doing this fight without suicides. Um, just because of the war was already kind of, uh, it, it kind of a little bit crazy in uh, on one side. So I just thought this is probably the best time to try it. And so that's what we're going to do. You can see here that obviously this person placed with willpower, which is great. So you can use Warlock and just get this fight done pretty pretty tidily. And now back in the incinerate phase, so I'm just going to wait this out. Uh, the original assignment was also Nimrod. Um, I haven't used him too much in war. Uh, and I know for some things Nimrod can be a bit of a nightmare against Havocs. So I just politely asked if, um, if I could use Warlock, just because I was more confident with that. And that's what officers and people are all here for obviously i am one myself but if people aren't confident then we just need to ask there i thought i had the special two um and i must have been just just shy of it so i actually threw the special one gave myself a crazy amount of plasma and if i didn't have an armor on me i would have been dead if i took a heavy attack i'd be dead so back into the poison phase throw the special two again and the fight's done. With suicides, that was probably a 45 second if that fight. Um, again, without suicides, it was a little bit longer. But it's just one of them things. It is what it is. 
So now we're moving up into section two, as you can see uh, here, and we're go <coughs> sorry, we're going to do this warlock here with Magneto. Now I cut out a section here, uh, which shows you my mastery swaps. It took me about 30 seconds, as you can see from that power start one boost. So I'm going to go in here. Uh, assignment from this was to just obviously parry heavy all the way up to special three. If I did get any infections on me in this time, then let them run out before I sort of throw my special free because that can affect my ability accuracy slightly. And yeah, so you see the Warlock can quite commonly start with uh, an armor up. So be careful, don't go in and attack them straight away. Especially on this unstoppable armor global, which I imagine will be around for at least this season. Uh, and maybe, maybe a couple more. Uh, and now we're just going to start charging up the heavy attacks properly. Trying to really build up the prowess. And as you can see, we didn't even get to uh, an infection in time. So we're just going to throw this now. And then this is Warlock dead. So pretty nice, steady, clean fight. Nothing really to, to worry about there. And then we're going to move up to Spider Piggy, Spam, Spider Ham whatever people want to call them nowadays. Uh, I could have quaked this, uh, but the assignment, we, we had someone else to do this on the assignment. So as you can see, they just gave them a cheeky little poke, let them know that I was waiting for them. And then we will uh, come back in a second. So as you can see there, Prime went and soloed a spider piggy. So thank you, Prime. Good job, mate. And um, we're going to come in now to Doc Ock again. So we're just going to use some more little boosts. Um, I'm not really worried about this fight at all. The main thing they said to me was to control the power suppression. When you get to a special two, just throw it. Um, and that's that's about it. Again, I wasn't really too, too concerned at all about this Doc Ock. Uh, I've used an advanced power anyway. I probably didn't need to. And uh, it's probably extra loyalty that I could have saved and... It's just what it is, but uh, it, without any changes being done, this will be my last season in any competitive um, alliance anyway. So, may as well spend a little bit of what I've got. So, we're going to just do this now, and I'm just going to parry heavy, basically, until we get close to a special two. I'm going to build up my prowesses, and then just throw it. You see there, I'll get the first power suppression. I still find this node weird, like they updated every single part of Path 2 and they strike like combat things but then just left this node as the suppression still, don't, don't really understand that logic. But this node doesn't have the enhanced bleed like the first node of Path 3 did. So when you're using someone like Red Magneto, you don't need to worry about like bleeding bleeding out sort of thing it's only the enhanced bleed nodes that you can get on that that's a bit of a worry but you can see here this fight is just very very steady and um, some people had said there was some like graphical um weird issues with doc ock on his spin but i didn't notice that in this fight so it might just be other people and the devices they're using but for me, that's my part of the war done. I know at the minute I'm not really having much to contribute, but I'd rather be a team player with the team that I've gotten and we do four fights and do them well than try and push for anything more. So you can see here the war finished. Uh, we only had three deaths, so that was really good for, for us sort of thing. We wanted to try and get to the zero, but it just didn't happen. And uh, yeah, we won. So congratulations to GT40 and lucky for DSVG and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much for watching.